Ships are large watercraft that are used in transporting heavy goods such as aircraft, vehicles, passengers and other heavy loaded materials. One would consider it a mystery that despite the structure and the ability of ships to move on the water without sinking unless there are faults or wide ocean current which can capsize the ship. Ships are generally distinguished from boats due to their size, shape and ability to carry or convey heavy goods. The first evidence of ships was dated back to the 4th millennium BC in Mesopotamia, which is a range in size from 1 16,000 scale wargaming miniatures to large vessels capable of holding people. They're regarded as ship models. Ship models are a craft as old as shipbuilding itself, longing back to ancient times when water transports were first developed. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where you can get interesting facts about discoveries and trending news. Our topic today is centered on a ship named the Titanic, a large ship that could have saved so many lives, but left an indelible mark in the heart of humans. This ship was meant to be an unsinkable one, as it was specifically constructed by a group of experienced constructors with a whopping sum of $7.9 million. The tragedy occurred more than 100 years ago, but left a hole in the heart of everyone because over 1,500 passengers and crew lives were lost in the shipwreck. In this video, we're going to be revealing some amazing facts about this ship's tragic incident which will remain evergreen in our memory. During the first half of the 20th century, rival shipping lines competed fiercely and the Titanic was the result. The White Star Line in particular found itself in a steamship primary battle with a venerable British firm called Cunard, with two standout ships that ranked among the most sophisticated and luxurious of the time. Cunard's Mauritania entered service in 1907, quickly setting a speed record for the fastest average speed during a transatlantic crossing of 26.26 miles an hour, which it held for 22 years. The same year, Cunard's other masterpiece, the Lusitania debuted and was praised for its spectacular interiors. The Lusitania was sunk by a torpedo fired by a German U-boat on May 7, 1915, killing nearly 1,200 of the 1,959 people on board and prompting the United States to enter World War I. The luxury steamship RMS Titanic sank in the early hours of April 15, 1912 off the coast of Newfoundland in the North Atlantic after colliding with an iceberg on its maiden voyage. The ship had about 2,240 passengers and crew on board, but this tragic event claimed the lives of 1,500 people. As we told you earlier, we'll be reviewing some hidden facts about this gigantic ship, which in turn claimed so many lives and left a hole in the heart of everyone. These facts will be outlined and will be explained in detail in the course of this video. Therefore, sit back as we analyze the points. The Titanic was the largest movable man-made object when it was launched. The gigantic size was a result of the measurement used when it was being built. She had a length of 269 meters and a width of 28 meters. She was 32 meters tall from the keel to the bridge and 53 meters tall to the stack. The Titanic was thought to have four exhaust stacks because of its grandeur. However, Thomas Andrews' original efficient design only required three. As a result, the ship only had one stack that was purely decorative and attractive. The Titanic's unprecedented size was a result of competition between her owner and the Cunard Line. There were 28 serious accidents and 218 minor accidents recorded during the construction. During the construction at Harland and Shipyard in Belfast, eight lives were lost. The majority of the eight died as a result of injuries sustained while falling from the ship or the staging area. When the Titanic collided with an iceberg, disaster ensued. Titanic received sporadic reports of ice from other ships after four days of eventful sailing on April 14th, but she was sailing on calm seas under a moonless clear sky. According to some theories, the Titanic was doomed from the start to a design that many praised as cutting edge. The Olympic-class ships had a double bottom and 15 watertight bulkhead compartments with electric watertight doors that could be operated individually or simultaneously by a bridge switch. It was because of these watertight bulkheads that Shipbuilder magazine deemed the Olympic lines practically unsinkable in a special issue devoted to them. However, the watertight compartment design had a flaw that was a crucial factor in Titanic sinking. While the individual bulkheads were indeed watertight, the walls separating the bulkheads extended only a few feet above the waterline, allowing water to pour from one compartment to another, especially if the ship was in a storm. Only one third of those on board could be accommodated for during an emergency evacuation. 
While insufficient by modern standards, Titanic's lifeboat supply exceeded the British Board of Trade's requirements. The passengers in the first class were estimated to be worth $500 million in total. It was well documented that the Titanic had many rich parents. Due to the unsinkable variety of the ship, the wealth also lined up to get on board. This includes the American businessman named John Jacob Asper IV, who is responsible for $87 million of which is equivalent to $2.23 billion in 2020. Not only was he the richest man on board, but also the richest man at the time. He perished in the sinking because he obeyed women and children first rule, which means in a life-threatening situation, women and children's lives need to be saved first. Astor left behind several accomplishments, which include the invention of a bicycle brake in 1898, a vibratory disintegrator that is used to produce gas from peat moss. In 1897, Astor built the most luxurious hotel in New York and also adjoined the Waldorf Hotel owned by his cousin and rival. The name of the complex was later transformed from Waldorf Hotel to Waldorf Astoria Hotel, and it's still one of the most iconic hotels in the world more than 100 years later. Unfortunately, Astor perished in the shipwreck together with his pet kitty, while his wife and unborn child managed to survive and later inherited his prestigious wealth. Violet Jessup, also known as the Queen of Sinking Ships, was a British nurse and a maritime stewardess who grew up in Argentina. She may be termed as a lucky or unlucky woman in the world depending on your perception. She scaled through tuberculosis when she was small, despite the prescription of the doctor that her illness would be fatal. She lost her dad due to complications from surgery when she was 16 years. This made her relocate to England, where she attended a convent school while her mother was working as a stewardess at sea. After the death of her mother, she left school and resumed the role of her mother as a stewardess. She was 24 years when she boarded the Titanic when she was working as a nurse. After the incident, she wrote, I was ordered up on deck. Calmly, passengers strolled about. I stood at the bulkhead with the other stewardesses, watching the women cling to their husband before being put into boats with their children. After eight hours, Jessup was lucky, as she was among the small percentage that were rescued by the RMS Carpathia. Four years later, she was involved in another shipwreck when she boarded the Titanic sister ship, which claimed the lives of 30 out of 1,066 people on board. In addition, she boarded the RMS Olympic, the eldest of the three sister ships, when it collided with the British warship called RMS Hawk. It was remarkable that she was experiencing the tragedy of these three unlucky ships. Miliana Dean was a British civil servant and a cartographer who was two months old when the tragic event occurred. She was the youngest passenger on board. This happened when her parent decided to leave England for America. A moment after the event, her father noticed a crush and went ahead to investigate. He returned to the cabin and instructed his wife to dress the children and move up to the cabin. Dean, her mother, and her siblings survived, but her father perished in the shipwreck. She died on the 31st of May 2009 at Ashurst, Hampshire in England. The Discovery of the Titanic as it was recorded that the Titanic was the biggest ship ever made at the time, it took about 73 years to find it because the ocean is vast and deep. It may be impossible to find any object in there. After several rescue missions and the trial to find this ship, all proof abortive this made the public give up until it was discovered accidentally. In September 1985, a joint of American expedition headed by Dr. Robert Ballard found the Titanic about two miles below the ocean. Their mission was successful and fruitful, which made it the most famous undermined discovery in history. The Titanic movie. The incident had happened long ago, about 10 decades ago, but the tragic event still seems fresh in our memories as the information is being passed on from one generation to another. History has been brought to life on screen in many dramatic ways from the beginning of the cinema to the present day. Advancing motion pure technology and forging new ties between the viewers and the historical past. Historical movies provide a unique and authentic opportunity for a country to examine its relationship with the past. James Cameron is a Canadian filmmaker. He's one of the most successful filmmakers of all time, attempting to create high-budget film that became a blockbuster about the wreckage of the ship. He named the movie Titanic and it became the most popular movie in history. The movie was produced in the year 1997 and was the most viewed movie ever. This is because the huge sum of money, which amounts to $200 million, was spent on the production of the movie. The amazing part of this production was that the amount spent on the production of the movies was more expensive than the original Titanic ship. 
survivor's statistical record. The sinking of the ship was not the tragic part of the story, but the over 1,500 lives that were lost during the event. This prompted a researcher to produce a statistical result that shows the percentage of the survivors. For the passengers on first class, he found that 97% of the 144 female passengers were rescued, while 32% of the 175 male counterparts were rescued. For the passengers in second class, only 20% of males and 74% of females were saved. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe to this channel. And remember to hit the notification bell so that you can have access to our unlimited videos, discoveries, trending news and also be notified when we release a new video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we're sure you would like to watch another more related concept from our channel. So stay tuned for more of our videos. We love you.